Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And today I'm going to be making some pulled pork in my Instant Pot. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a pork loin. It's 4.71 pounds. So um, that's how big it is. I'm going to take this out of the package. I'm going to cut it into at least uh, three pieces. Um, and I might trim off um, some of this fat depending on um, how thick it is but um, anyways that's all I'm going to do now I have made this in my instant pot with um, a pork shoulder and it was you know larger more round and I didn't cut it in half initially um, and I had it cook for a while and it didn't cook the inner part of it because it was so thick I think so um, this I think it probably would take less time if it's cut into smaller pieces okay so uh, anyways I'll get this cut and then I'm gonna put it in the pot okay so I got the meat cut up I did cut it into four pieces um, and I've got um, about a cup and a half of water in there it looks a little funny around like bubbly because I turned the saute on to start warming the pot up because <laughs> I think it helps it you know start getting everything warm um, while I was cutting the meat up so I did cut off um, quite a bit of that fat off of the outside edge right there so um, I'm not going to put anything else in there and you know a lot of people make it like go ahead and put like different seasonings and stuff in there to make a barbecue sauce or whatever or whatever if you want to put some barbecue sauce in it now but I don't think it needs it and um, for myself and then I'll just put I'm just gonna put barbecue sauce on it when I get it done so okay anyways let's put the lid on and I'm gonna set that to ceiling back there and I'm gonna use um, the manual pressure cook it's on high pressure I'm gonna um, increase the time here I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in for 45 minutes and hopefully that'll cook it so because when I did it before with the pork shoulder it didn't cook long enough and so I had to put it in there again and it was a different kind of piece of meat so um, we'll see hopefully it'll be done after 45 minutes and then I'll do a natural release um, for probably about 15 minutes or so at the end. And, um, I have it on the keep warm setting, but, um, it probably is better to not have that, to turn it off before it starts cooking. Um, but that's the time that it's been setting since the cook time has actually stopped. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And, um, but the red pressure valve is still up. So, I'm going to tap it to see if it'll go down. No, it, it, it's not. See, there's still pressure on there even after it's been setting. But I think that's because of the keep warms on. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, release the pressure. But there shouldn't be a lot left in there. Okay, all the pressure's off. So, that took a few minutes um, to get that to happen. And now I can take the lid off. Okay, I'm going to take it off away from me so the steam doesn't get me. And hopefully, hopefully this will be um, pulled pork. And it'll be falling apart. Oh yeah, look at that. It's very, very tender. There. So, yep, yeah, that one's falling apart. That one's falling apart. Okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to take it out of here. I have this little pie plate that I'm going to put it on. And, um, and now, now we just got to um, pull it apart with a fork. <laughs> okay, I'll show you that. Let me, I'll get it out of this uh, Instant Pot. Okay, so half of it I got um, pulled apart, and it's in there, and so basically I'll just 
taking this fork and just <gasps> pulling it apart and um, yeah it's coming apart really easily which it should if you're making pulled pork so um, and part of it got a little bit crispy where it was along the bottom um, touching the bottom of the pot I suppose you could like brown it some in the with the saute feature um, piece went flying before you um, you know before you put it on the pressure cook but um, yeah I think I think the 45 minutes was definitely long enough I, I think if it went if it went longer you know it would be it would be fine too but and then it sat for like I showed you like 17 minutes in there with the pressure still on it so you have to take that into account somewhat in your cook time um, so like if you want to do a quick 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 release you probably would want to cook it a little bit longer anyways so uh, yeah that looks pretty good yep And I suppose um, you could put it back into the pot and then um, to keep it warm if you were going to serve it like at a buffet or something or something like that or um, whatever, you, however you were going to serve it. Anyways, I just got some barbecue sauce, whatever, you know, you can make your, make your own sauce, but I'm not going to put barbecue sauce on all of this, um, so I think... Well, I might. I don't know. I think this much pork I definitely would take a whole 16 ounce bottle or um, maybe even two, depending on how saucy you like it. Or a lot of times what I do is I mix up, um, mix the sauce on it like this and then end up adding more to my bun anyways <laughs> so it's always always good to have two bottles of barbecue sauce so um in the course of this was like with almost five pounds of pork so um this over here i did there was some pieces of fat um that fatty area that i found um in there that i just pulled out and that's what that is so that when you're eating it you don't end up with a a big uh bite of fat <laughs> that's the thing so anyways um yeah i got an onion bun here and i'm going to put put this on here and have this for dinner and it will be spectacular i'm sure so anyways yep there it is on the onion bun actually i want to try some i want to try some without any sauce on it I mean, it's not dried out or anything. Um, if you were just going to eat it that way. Because um, you could just cook the pork loin. Not cook it as long. So that it doesn't fall apart. And then and then just um, slice it up and serve it that way. Or, you know, cook it longer. Like I said, 45 minutes for this. So, um Yeah, of course, with barbecue sauce on it, it tastes better. <laughs> All right, that's my pulled pork. Talk to you later.